there. Welcome to this week's episode of A Girl on a Mission TV. Today you're here with Paul Kostinski here in uh, Seattle. How are you doing today? Good. Good, 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 good. So uh, I've got some questions for you. What was your high school mascot? You didn't have to <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was waiting for this question. I would know. <laughs> gotcha. Right. Uh, so where did you go to high school? Uh, Ukraine. Ukraine, okay. So what influences you as an art, other than artists? Um, do you, you know, incorporate life experiences, or do you go in when you're going to paint something with an, kind of an idea and a mission of what you're going to do? It depends. Mm. Mostly comes from dreams. Oh, wow. But dreams, well, that's good. Yeah. non surrealist. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of have to. Uh, dreams come from observation mm -hmm. and surround. Surrounding myself with reality, mm. kind of dark side of Seattle, like mm. an underbelly of Seattle. Right, right, right. This is where I like to dwell, and somehow very indirectly it influences me. Ser seriously, Viaduct, yeah, Pioneer Square, Port, uh, all hustle and bustle, right. Blue Heron. That's so wild. Just sit there, literally <laughs> ten feet from us, right. would look and walk around and then fly. Away. And then it, it, it happens a couple of times, and then I had this dream uh, how the Blue Heron... First I see the city, which is kind of Pioneer uh, mm -hmm. kind of Seattle, and then suddenly it, it's not a city, it's a curtain, and uh, Blue Heron pushes aside and walks out. So I decided to paint it. On my site, polyrealism.com. Okay. Uh, the thing... The thing uh, there's a uh, my favorite quote about art okay. of all times is uh, by Leo Tolstoy, the Russian writer. Mm -hmm. So he was really old in his 70s and he was, instead of writing books, he was plowing earth and thinking about uh, world and peace. Mm -hmm. And he was always pestered by young artists, uh, young painters, uh, <laughs> young writers. Yeah. And one of them uh, came to him, somehow broke through all the cordons and found him on a field plowing. Uh, in his uh, linen undies and like long beard, imagine Leo Tolstoy. Right, right, like, right. And this, and this young guy comes to him and is like, You're the greatest writer in Russian literature. Yeah, right. How do I become a writer? And he stopped his blow look and says, If you can help it, don't. <laughs> that yeah. describes everything. If you can help it not make an art, go do something else. Seriously. Help it. Much more rewarding. Both yeah. mentally, emotionally, and financially. Right. <laughs> um, would you want to maybe pull out? Can, can you pull out a couple of these guys? No, this one finished. This, oh. Yeah, it's like, I, I like work on, work on a bunch of them. This one drying, this one working. Because oh. oil dries a few days and I work in layers. Right. We can, we can do... You want me to pull paintings? Yeah, okay. We'll do that. <laughs>